Okay, boys and girls, this is some extra help with the worksheet represent division with two digit divisors. It goes with lesson 2.2. With this, we're going to be using models to solve a division problem. So we're going to start with reading the question. The Nile River is the longest river in the world, measuring 6,650 kilometers long. The Nile is 50 times longer than Japan's Amano River. How long is the Amano River? So the question we're asked here is how long is the Amano River? We're asked to draw a visual model to represent the situation and then write a division equation to model and solve this equation. I first want to make sense out of exactly what this question is asking me. It's asking how long is the Amano River, and the only information they've given me is the length of the Nile. So I know that the total length that we have here for the Nile is 6,650 kilometers long. And this bar model represents the length of that the Nile. It also tells me that this Nile is 50 times larger than the Amano River. So I know whatever the length of the Amano River is, which I don't know, I'm going to represent that by the end because I know it's some number. I do know that the Nile is whatever this river's length is times 50. So if I find out this number times 50, I know it's going to be equal 6,650. Now I know that multiplication and division are related. So I know I can write a multiplication problem for this particular bar model. And then I can also write a division problem to find this missing factor here. I know I can take this product and write it as my dividend, divide it by the factor that I do know, and my quotient will be equal to this other factor, which is what I am looking for. All right, so the problem we have here is to find the solution to 6,650 divided by 50. And then I will know the length of the Amano or Omano River. So we're going to start with drawing an area model. And we know in our area model that can show that two numbers times each other, the length and the width, can equal this amount in here. And this amount in here is going to be the 6,650. And I'm just going to write that down here so I don't forget. Now I know that I want 50 times whatever number to give me this amount. And even though I don't know the answer to that, I can break it up into smaller chunks that I do know. I'm going to use some mental math here. I know that 50 times 100 is equal to 5,000. I'm going to use my mental math, my simple fact, 5 times 1 is 5. And then I'm going to use annexing my zeros. I'm going to count my zeros, 1, 2, 3, and I get 5,000. So that's a pretty good chunk out of 6,650. So I'm going to represent that with a pretty good size of my area up here. And I'm going to say, 50 times 100 is equal to 5,000. Now I want to subtract that from my 6,650. And I'm going to just use the box right here to do that. 0 minus 0, 5, 6, and 6 minus 5 is 1. So I still have 1,650. Now I know it is not going to go another 100 times. So I may consider cutting that in half and thinking about the number 50. Half of 100 is 50. So I'm going to try 50 times 50. I know 5 times 5 is 25 and annex two zeros. And that's still way too big, even though it's half of the 5,000. So I'm going to jump that down to about 30. I know that 5 times 3 is 15 and annex two zeros, and I have 1,500. Yes. I can subtract 1,500 from 1,650. So I'm going to write this as 50 times 30 
is equal to 1,550. And I'm going to subtract that from the 1,650 that I still have left over here. And I'm going to see that that's going to equal 150. Now this is getting to a number that I can really think about. I know that 50 times 3 is equal to 150. And so that's exactly the amount that I need with no remainders left over on this one. So I'm going to say 50 times 3 is equal to 150. And I subtract that from what's left and I have 0 left over. Now right up here I have that example of the distributed model. 6,650 has been broken into 100 plus 30 plus 3. So what does that tell me? That tells me that 133 times 50 is equal to 6,650. And I'm going to use that information to solve my division problem. I have to get another piece of paper. So I'm going to take what I know now, the 6,650 divided by 50 is equal to 133. So this tells me, back to my original problem, that since 133 times 50 is equal to the length of the Nile River, I can take this, 6,650, divided by 50, and get the length of the other river, 133 kilometers. Now that model is an important part of how you're going to solve these other problems. So refer back to that and use that to answer your questions. We did the model on paper. We wrote a division equation to model and solved it. And now you're going to do a similar thing with these numbers 2 and 3. I do want to point out that on 3 they have C is equal to 732 divided by 12. And that's the same exact thing as 732 divided by 12 is equal to C or just some number. Okay, and I want you to take a look at number four. It's asking you to write a division equation that relates to the following application of the distributive property. Now you're asked to write a division equation, and what's been modeled here is a multiplication problem. So I can see that I have 18 times 200 plus 9. Using distributive property, it was worked out to find out that it was 3,762. Now you are asked to write a division problem that uses 18 times 209 is equal to 3,762. Write the matching division problem that would go with that situation. All right, boys and girls, make sure you have plenty of paper and pencil to draw your area models and figure out this map. Good luck on this.